Hello, my Disney friends. Welcome back to a Cinderella wish. If you're new here, I'm Mia. Today, what I have for you is a Walt Disney World haul. It's not a huge haul, but it's um, some pieces that we picked up um, probably within the last two months or so. So we're going to start off with t-shirts. And the first t-shirt is this spring break t-shirt that features Mickey with his sunglasses. He's leaning on a surfboard and um, it says 2022 and it's a tropical scene. You can see that there's palm trees and here's the sun in the background and it is setting, I believe. But um, this is such a fun t-shirt. The colors are awesome. Just check it out. It just looks like um, somebody would have sprayed this, painted this on a wall. Um, yeah, so it's an, an extra large, fricky size. And the color is a, um, I'm gonna say like a chamois. It's not ivory, it's not totally ivory. It's a little bit more chamois, I guess it's kind of ivory chamois, but it's a it's a really cool t-shirt. So here's the first t-shirt. Second t-shirt. A very Ricky t-shirt because Ricky loves Thumper. Ricky has actually three Thumpers. Um, yeah, and, and one misses money. But um, this he saw this t-shirt and he just had to have this. Um, this was his Easter t-shirt, but he just loves Thumper and I'm sure he's just gonna wear it all the time. Um, and you can just see Thumper, he has a flower in his mouth. And that's basically it, but it does scream spring, um, Easter to us. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful t-shirt. It's mint. And Thumper is in like a a gray, a gray with like a soft taupe. And the flowers are yellow and white. And just so cute. Look at his little feet. Adorable. Next item. Here is a magic band. This magic band um, is not for me. <laughs> It's Ricky's Magic Band. He was looking for a Toy Story one. He wanted a Toy Story one. He did not find the Toy Story one, but he found Pooh. And this is just Pooh with some honey. And on the other side, what does it say? It says honey. And there's a honey pot and a little tiny bee. Another perfect spring item, although he'll wear this all the time. And it goes really cute with his little thumper t-shirt. Colors are pretty much, um, they go together. Really cute. Anyway, let's move on to some hats. Okay, this first hat. Okay, we both saw this hat and we had to have this. This is a part of the vault collection. We picked this up at Magic Kingdom. And um, we both love the fact that it's like, kind of like vintage Mickey. And this one here has the train going right across the top. And this is why we picked this hat out. And let's see what is around here. That's the reason we picked out this specific hat. Now, I don't even think the castle's on here, no. But um, yeah, it's a vintage print from the vault collection and it's a bucket hat it's lined and it's just a beautiful hat I mean what do you guys think I think we'll be wearing it all summer next up another hat this time it's a cap and a cap featuring Peter Pan it says don't grow up Oh, don't want to grow up. There's some white lettering in there. And it says London. And on the inside of the hat, it says, believe you can fly. 
And there is Peter's shadow and there's Tink. And it's just a nice baseball cap. And I guess you can figure out that Ricky picked out this cap for himself. The day he picked up that cap, I picked up this hat because I had to have it. It says, this way to Wonderland. And it has a bow on the hat. I love the colors. It's um, navy and mint. And I just love it. It's very feminine, this bucket hat. On the inside, there's Alice, Alice in Wonderland. And she's just having tea. She's having a little tea party all by herself. And you could wear this um, inside out, reversed, but I like it just like this. Yeah, it was this bow that sold me, believe it or not. Just love this little hat. Okay, we have one more hat to show you. This hat sold out when it launched, and I thought I missed out on it but it came back into stock and I snatched it up. And I'll tell you what I like about this hat. Besides the colors, Lily Pulitzer does a beautiful job on her, her designs and her colors. Um, what I like about it is that there is the castle and there is Mickey, more of the castle and Mickey and right over here, there's Minnie. So I got Mickey and Minnie on the cap. Oh, and here's another um, portrait of Mickey. It is just too adorable. And the colors are so like poppy. And I can't wait to wear this hat. Oh, on the back, check out the detail. Look at the buckle, that gold buckle. It is beautiful. It wasn't cheap. It, actually, it was, let's see here. Let me put on my glasses and look, tell you how much this hat cost. Oops. Time for a new pair of glasses? Yes, time for a new pair of glasses. Let's see here. Oops. Okay. All right, so this hat was $48. And of course, I got my discount and then plus tax. Um, still around $48. But it's just a beautiful hat and you know looking at it closer now I have to say there's some oranges on it these are oranges Florida oranges just a beautiful tropical hat oh I'm telling you I cannot wait to wear this hat anyway we are moving on from caps and bucket hats to ta -da! I haven't purchased a pair of ears in a while. If you didn't know, um, one of my favorite rides at Hollywood Studios is Tower of Terror. Um, they did have it in California when we lived there. The year we left, they um, closed down the ride and they put um, Guardians of the Galaxy, which we can't wait to ride that. But anyway, so I had to purchase this. I, I don't really purchase ride ears at all. I don't. But this one is made so well. And I love the colors and just the detail and the key here with the little tassel. It and the gold ropes. It is just, it just looks like the inside of a cinema or a hotel, which that's what uh, Tower of Terror is. It just looks like that to me. I just think it's just beautiful. Oh, the red carpet. That's what that reminds me of with the rope in front of it. And anyway, I just think it's gorgeous. So I had to have these ears. What I'm going to show you next are pins. Okay, I purchased this orange bird pin because the orange bird is on top of this orange that looks like Spaceship Earth. 
and it is for flower and garden and that is the only pin that i purchased for flower and garden and it's just too adorable i had to add this to my collection This is a fig pin and we purchased one fig pin. It took us a while to figure out which fig pin we wanted to pick out, but uh, we, Ricky and I agreed on Tinkerbell. Because Tinkerbell is a classic and she sparkles, you can't really tell in the video um but she does sparkle her wings sparkle and more pins this pin we purchased at magic kingdom and i'm going to take it out for you so you can see this pin it is the castle uh, let me put on my glasses so i can see better detail so here is the castle it says Walt Disney World and inside the castle it opens up oh. does open up I promise you it says 50th and there's Cinderella isn't it gorgeous it is okay so that is the other pin that we purchased. I have one more pin to show you. And this is a gorgeous pin from the Heroes and Villains collection. This is a 2021 pin, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen it last year. But I picked this up because it's a book and it says the greatest moments in life are not, are not, I can't even see with these glasses on, time to get new glasses, are not, I don't know, concerned, are not concerned with selfish achievements. Uh, oh, that lettering is so small. Something, something, <laughs> things to do for the people we love. Walt Disney. Here's his signature. And when you open it up, and I, you're gonna see why I had to have this. Okay, so I had to have it because Walt is right in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Here's that famous photo of Walt walking past the arches. Um, and on the other side, we have Hercules and on the bottom, you have Mulan, Mulan and her dad and Hercules and his family. It's just beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful pin. I wish I could read that, but it's so small, the lettering. Hmm. Anyway, gorgeous pin. Uh, one more item i have one more item to show you and it's this i don't collect these skyliners because i know some people collect the skyliners and they kind of put them across their room which would be pretty cute i might start doing that for ricky's room but um we picked up this skyliner with mickey and minnie on it and goofies on one side of the Skyliner and Donald and Daisy are on the other side of the Skyliner. This is adorable. It's $19.99 and it was just too cute. Like I said, I might pick up a few more just to, just to use as decoration, but I had to have this one and you know, we don't collect these, but just have to have it. Anyway, that is it. That is it for my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Comment, let me know. Do you like anything I purchased? Would you have purchased any of these items? Did you purchase something at Walt Disney World? Let me know what you purchased. 
Um, I have uh, some unboxings to do on my next video. And like I, oh, I have to mention that next week, um, I will be doing a giveaway, 500 subscriber giveaway. It is a lounge fly. So let's get excited. Yay, lounge fly. And anyway, it's in a box right now. It's closed up. We won't be unboxing it till next week. And I have other unboxings to do. So come back to my channel, subscribe, give it a like, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye everybody, stay magical.